here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my lanterns on my kitchen table. And I'm really not doing much in this video other than to bring you one in real time. Uh, today is literally the Friday after Thanksgiving and I will try to get this video up by uh, probably tomorrow morning. If you see this Friday evening by any chance, expect the next video, which will be my powder room, to be Sunday morning. Uh, but I just wanted to come and say hi and hope that you guys had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving. And I say that in my uh, powder room video too because I didn't think I was going to do this one, you guys. But I did want to go ahead and bring you this just to say hi and just to, you know, uh, say that I hope in real time that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We sure did. Everybody just left here a little while ago, and this table was the only thing that I had left to decorate on this side of the house because we finished the big tree, which is right there, right there that I will show you closer up of during my home tour. But I might take a picture of it this evening and just put that at the end of this video, but I'll take you up and through it during my home tour. Uh, my home tour will probably be, you know what? I forgot to look on my calendar. A week from Monday, and I'll put the date up here, Sunday or Monday, and I'll decide and count up how many videos I have. I think I have, the powder room, the dining room table, lantern, the dining room hutch, uh, the foyer, and my grandmother's hutch. I think I've got like five more videos to put up. So that those videos will be going up through this week coming up. And then my home tour will go up. I have not done my home tour yet. I haven't filmed it. We have not decorated outside. But you'll hear me say in upcoming videos that I'm going to go ahead and leave the outside as a surprise for you and to leave this this tree as I'm kind of giving you a sneak peek of for the home tour so that you guys can get the whole big feeling but I'm not going to do any decorate with me's on my outdoor decor I'm a little far behind because of my cruise as you know so anyway so I just wanted to let you know that too <laughs> uh, so I'll get caught up and, and show you some stuff in the lighter and airier colors of ice blues and whites and silvers Pretty stuff coming up this week, you guys, after the powder room. Powder room's next, after this one. But anyway, real quick here, I just wanted to show you these three red lanterns, if, and, and they're gonna go one in the middle and one on either side of those trees over there on my kitchen table. As you can see, I got the red tablecloth out. That's a cloth tablecloth. And then it just has a cream runner, 72 inch uh, runner, which I'll show you closer of when I get there. A closer, I'll give you, I'll give you a close, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. We had a big time here. We just had a big time with my dad and then Kristen came on uh, Wednesday evening and then Dustin and Candace came yesterday morning, Thanksgiving day morning. And we all had a lovely dinner and decorated the tree and had a big time together. And everybody just left a little while ago. So. I figured I'd come to you and say hi because you know how it is after a, you know, after a holiday when you've geared up and geared up and geared up and then everybody goes home and it's like, wow, it's really quiet in here. It's wow, it's a little lonely in here, you know? So I thought I would just come to you guys and we'll just do a little something something today. And this will be just a little something, you guys. It was really just for me to say hi to you guys. <laughs> anyway, all right, here we go. Oh, these three, let me drop you down a little bit. These three lanterns are lanterns that Chris actually picked up for me last year from Walmart. There's two smaller versions here, these two right here in the front, and then there's one large version. All I'm going to do, now Chris has, will rig these up for me a little later, and you can see he already has his wires coming out, but just let me show you real quick. I'm going to just very simply put one of these, these are usually battery operated uh, snow globe candles in here. And the two end 
lanterns. We'll have the candles sitting right down on, hang on, in the bottom of the lantern like that. And then I very simply took a little piece of garland like this and wrapped it around the bottom. Somebody that I blocked last year gave me a hard time about using tinsel that I, you know, that I shouldn't use tinsel. But when these candles are on and glowing inside of this lantern, these lanterns, it looks so pretty, you guys, with that tinsel around it. It gives, you know, the light something to jump off of. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. But that's all I'm going to be putting in the two end ones. Uh, and then I will be hanging bells Ooh. off of like opposing sides of them. And these are bells I got from I don't even know where, you guys. And that, I believe. And they will just go on either side. And these got these got torn up a little bit last year because they broke when I went to put them around. And I might try to do something like wrap this back around this poor thing and see what I can do to help that out in the meantime. But anyway, that's all I'm doing to the uh, two lanterns on either side of the middle there. Now, I, last year I made double a double funky bow <laughs> for this so that no matter which way you look at this lantern, these bows are going to go back to back to one another. I can give you a link to it to, in the description of how I made these bows. I don't remember how many looped bows these are. 12 maybe? 12 looped funky bows? I'm not sure. But I can sure give you links of where you can find these. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on this big lantern here for you guys so you can see how they look. And then in the bottom of this big lantern... I, again, I'm going to put the tinsel, see that? But I'm going to use one of these little white stands, I just got this at Hobby Lobby, in the bottom to lift, because this is a bigger lantern, you know, to lift this up a little higher. Still using tinsel around it that way and then tinsel around the candle too. Okay, so that's how that will look inside. And again, the candle, whoops, the candle will shine up and through. But let me go ahead and put this funky bow, these funky bows on this lantern. So this is the front, so one goes on the front. And I tied them on one at a time, I remember that. I think they go this way, it goes this way. Yeah, okay. We get behind, ah, sorry. We'll get behind it here and tie this side on. And I'm not even worried about this bow back here because you know, it will be completely hidden with the other bow. And that, where I tie that one on will be completely hidden by this bow, you know? So I don't have to be too picky about the bows that I tie on, tie these on with. Here we go. And then this one, will go like this on the other side. I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna come right under this bow like that, and of course I can't show you what I'm doing, but I'm really just tying a bow underneath, cinching it really tight to pull that bow up against this bow, and just tying, a, tying that in a bow. Sam is barking, there we go. And there we have a double funky bow, and when I fluff it, I will fluff them into one another and make it look like kind of one big bow topper. We had these boxed up. Let me show you how we had these boxed up. 
in this box all by themselves, you guys. And you can say red lantern bows. Chris wrote that on there. And we had just the two bows in this box all by themselves. So we were very careful. You know what I forgot to do though? I'm a ding dong. I have it's no problem. I've got uh, bells to put on either side too. What you working at, beds? I did have big bells hanging down in the front last year, and I'm not going to put those on this year, y'all, because, honest to goodness, they hid the flame. As I was looking back on pictures, they hid the flame so I of the candle, so I don't want to do that. Okay, I think Sam needs to go out, and I think he needs a little help getting up. So I am going to go and help him up and get him outside, y'all. He's... He's struggling a little bit, if I'm honest, y'all. I'll be back. All the leaves are pretty much off the trees, y'all. It is a beautiful day here in Virginia. Chilly. Chilly as all get out, though. Whew. You can really see how our property kind of drops down behind the fence there and kind of goes up a hill over there and goes down into a ravine over there. there Sam. Sniffing around in the leaves. Sam, Sam. Did you ain't got some leaves hanging from your jowl there? <laughs> what you doing, boy? Oh, I dropped. I dropped. You big boy. You had to put your bed in. Hello. Hello, my body. Hello, my body. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. All right. You ready to go in? Come on. Didn't do much out here though, did ya? Huh? Ah, what you doing? Yeah, it's good. How's it going? Alright. Let's go. You ready to go back in? Come on. Come on. Okie dokie, he and I are back in again. There he is. Aren't you, buds? It wore him out. I'm telling you, you guys. It's just... Bless his big heart. Anyway, here's the tree. I wanted to... I couldn't stand it. I had to bring you out and show you <laughs> just a little bit. At least in the daytime, it looks, of course, you know, amazing at night. But there's the tree topper. Chris and I made that together last year. I do not have a video for that because we did it together. But uh, it wasn't hard. It was... We just tie-wrapped stalks of red berries together and made like a crown and then there's a, a star tree topper in the middle and then i made that bow and no i don't have a video for that either because i made that several years ago and it's just you know a loop after loop after loop after loop after loop many 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 loops i don't even know how many a lot but anyway this is just our family's christmas tree you can see i have twinkle lights let me get back from it. You might be able to see it better. In the middle, going down toward the, in the center of it. And we got those from Amazon. If I can get you a link, they were not cheap. They are LED lights, but they are soft, soft white lights. So they're the same color as the, you know, regular Christmas lights. We, I don't even know how many lights we have on here. A thousand, maybe, lights. It is lovely. But, uh, this Christmas tree is full of memories and, you know, Candace is always fun when she puts up the little elves because <laughs> she always is, you know, has a good sense of humor, bless her heart. So we all did this together yesterday evening. I'm not even going to touch it, you guys. I'm not even going to touch it. To me, it's perfect as is. doesn't need one other thing. 
but I'll show you a picture at night with everything on and shining brightly. Okay, let's go back over here to my lanterns. And I have no way of turning you around on my iPhone, so I'll be right back. All righty, here we go. And uh, I'm not gonna turn these on quite yet. I'm gonna get them into place. Uh, but you can see here, I've been doing a little fluffing, just a little bit. And, you know, I don't have them on a Lazy Susan, so I'm hoping it won't squeak on this counter. But you can see as I go around, you know, it kind of, I'm gonna pull that bow together and make it look like one big bow, you know, right on the top. Okay. Uh, but I need to wait for Chris to get in here to do his magic. So let me just do some quick final words here for you. And then I'll do a final video of the table and the lanterns all lit up and in place. So again, this wasn't, uh, you know, a planned video of mine. This was just an impromptu kind of, you know, pop-up video as they call them, I think sometimes. And, uh, you know, the rest of the week will be videos that I have been working on, you know, uh, in the last week or so before Thanksgiving. And uh, it'll be, like I say, the powder it'll room. It'll be tomorrow. the powder room next, whenever that is. And then we'll start with the lantern, the hutch, the foyer, and my grandmother's hutch. So, and then we will have my home tour. And I will put up a date. If I have figured out when that date is, either here or in an upcoming video, I will let you know the date and time that that video will go up. So uh, just to let you know and to, to kind of prepare you for those of you who have just joined me as far as my home tour is concerned, my Christmas home tour is one of my, uh, I, I work really hard on my, not that I don't work really hard on every video because as you guys know, I do. But for my Christmas video, I, I kind of give you every vantage point that I can of the house decorated up for Christmas. I usually start out at my mailbox and work my way up the driveway and come up the sidewalk and show you all the outdoor decor. And then I walk in and I talk my way through, you know, every room, every vignette. I mean, not in great detail, but just give you a little bit of information and chit chat with you as I travel through the house. That said, I also give you at the very beginning in my introduction, I also give you a minute mark that if you want to forward to a minute mark, whatever it may be, uh, to watch it only to music, I also do a recording that I'll put all up in one video of me walking through the house with all the lights dim and just the Christmas lights on, just to music. Uh, I don't know which which one is more popular than the other. I've gotten, I've done some that are just music at times or just talking at times and people ask me to do the other, you know, what their preference is. So I decided a couple of years ago that I would just put it all into one video and give you a minute mark to where you can skip to, to listen to the video or to just watch and look with just to music without me talking. So that's the way I handle it. And then I usually end up walking out the front door and backing off the porch and backing down the sidewalk and backing down the driveway and giving you one last look at everything, you know? So that's usually the way my home tour goes. And that's the way I plan on doing it this year. I don't have any special, you know, ways to video. I'm just videoing the way I always do and editing the way I always do. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get that edited and up for you guys though. I will do my best this week to work on this while you guys are enjoying the footage that I, to work on that while you guys are enjoying the footage that I have in, in the can. I still have to edit it <laughs> except for my powder room. Uh, but you know, I still have to edit the rest of them to get them up for you, but they will go up, the, all those, those four video, five videos will go up this week, and then next week will be my, the week after next will be my home tour. All right, so, uh, again, I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving, and I hope that you were able to spend time with those you love and who love you. So let me just go into some final words and say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day 
making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. With all that said, come back though to see a last video, as I always say, last video to music of everything lit up and into place on the table. And a picture of the Christmas tree all lit up at night, so. But with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good, Bye-bye.